often looked like an incredibly rich and wealthy individual, very well put together. Indeed, well, a very warm welcome to you to our little cigar shop. This is a place for you to relax, for you to unwind, for you to feel like someone is here giving you all the expert knowledge that you acquire for you to make the right purchase to you, for you to find the right cigar and for you to just feel good about yourself. Now I know hours are a little bit late at the moment. But we keep this cigar shop open as late as possible because we like to make sure when someone such as yourself who arrives late means that they're probably seeking some sort of relaxation. Perhaps you're not sleeping that great. Perhaps you need something to take your mind off things. Then it could be any of those sort of reasons. That is why I'm here. So finding a cigar is not just about picking something that looks good. No, 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 no. It's all about the tasting. It's about the environment. It's about what you feel like you need and what a good cigar means to you. Now, a cigar, let me just put this out here. Right, I'll give you an example here. A cigar is not just about smoking. No, no, no. The cigar chooses the smoker and the smoker never chooses the cigar. We're not quite sure why that works out like that, but those of us in the cigar business know that this is the case. So this is a particular cigar which has been perfect for me and the one which I smoke for uh, quite some time now. And it has a real nice, fruity, warming, woody taste to it. And before you've even lit it, you can taste the cigar now obviously cigars once you cut it okay at the end to the desired size of course you've got your cigar cutter and then once you've done that you can of course make sure you've got a nice v at the end so you can get a special v cutter in there as well to your mouth and make sure you've got an appropriate lighter take the puffs you know what to do. You look like an inexperienced cigar smoker, that's for sure. Now, one of the things here at the cigar store, we must emphasize that we don't condone smoking in any way, shape or form, and yet we do thoroughly condone fake smoking, for which is real smoking. Because we like good health here at our cigar store. Now, have you been to a cigar store before? You know of them? Well, someone of clearly your high status and, uh, and high uh, mark in society probably knows about the, the doings of what happens when you go and select an appropriate cigar. So, can I interest you in something to drink? Well, we've got a uh, tender go for the whiskies uh, when you have a nice cigar. Uh, but uh, the port, uh, in, indeed that is port in there, well spotted. You have a keen eye, I see. Uh, you would like a glass of port? Are you sure you wouldn't want a whis whiskey? It's just, it goes down so much better with a nice cigar. Well, I have a nice glass here for precisely for you. My, probably going to be my new favorite customer now. Can I give you a glass of port then? Would that be okay? Excellent. And then once you have your glass, we can start talking about cigars and getting you the right one. Excellent. Excellent. Indeed, 
I know that it's slight sacrilege that um, you've got a glass of port in a whiskey glass, though I only tend to keep the whiskey glasses here purely because customers tend to have a nice whiskey with it, but I'm glad you've gone for the port option. There you go. There you go. And just enjoy it at your leisure. So, cigars. What sort of cigar are you interested in then? Tell me what sort of things, when, when's the time you smoke it, what sort of size you're looking for, a nice Cuban cigar or something a bit sophisticated, if there's a particular occasion, or if I was to get something for you. The way you're dressed, very aristocratic, I think something a big, and excuse the terms, a big fat Cuban cigar would be suited for you, something very expensive looking. Yeah, and I feel like something for at your leisure, no doubt you have a lot of things to, important things to attend to, like estates, and no doubt your close friends are Lord Farquaad. You are as well. Well, I knew I liked you quite a lot. I'd like you even more now. So, let me pick a nice cigar for you. Let me know what you think. I think you're going to like this one. I think this is going to be a good fit for you. traditional and it's really just going to enlighten the senses for you a little bit okay smoking is uh, smoking cigars is a very sophisticated thing okay and even just having one in your hand of course it makes one feel relaxed and if, yeah that's right and if you're sitting in your mansion of course I was right to presume that and you want to keep an eye on perhaps all your estate looking out in your gardens and, and all the people that are working on your garden. You'd want a nice cigar to oversee, th oversee things, yeah. That's right, see all the gardeners planting all the hedges in, in your nice designed garden, English garden, yeah. Mm. Yeah, indeed. Or perhaps the, the farmer with the sheepdog just attending to all of your cattle and herds and there in the yard. A nice Cuban cigar, so you can enjoy all that. Okay. So, I think I've got something in here for you, which could be just right for you. size of these Cuban cigars so if we just measure it out there we have four inches there okay and if we just measure it out there again in centimeters okay we just pull it out there okay and that measures at 10 centimeters there also okay so cigar size wise it's not a very long one however a cigar like this has its purposes you see so for a busy individual, which I'm sure you are, you know, with lots of important things to do, the cigar like this is one 
you could keep in your dehumidifier in a little box or a little uh, compartment or something and you could easily store it in your pocket like this okay and it doesn't need to be on show really you can go all the way in but this is something quick this is something if you need something just easily casually and you find yourself in a position where you think right now's the time to have a relaxing smoke and something along those lines so this is what this size cigar is all about this uh, cuban cigar okay so you might have been familiar with the brand there there we go and it is all nicely wrapped here for you also if you'd enjoy it so going by cigars in terms of its circumference there okay just measure the circumference here so that measures at a very nice seven centimeters so it really is quite uh, just above the standard cuban cigar thickness there as well so let's just take it out here and you can really enjoy it okay one of the first things which i always recommend for customers is that you've got to feel the cigar you've got to feel it feel it in your hands feel it in your fingers i feel it in my bones and you've got to put it towards your mouth and you've got to pretend that you're smoking it as well as you've also got to smell it that's very important make sure you smell your cigar so you know what flavor there's going to be in there okay so if you'd like to just pull it a little bit okay like that and there we go and perhaps you'd like to just bring it towards you a little bit okay feel it in your fingers how how it's going to hold okay how you're going to smoke it remember at the end i'll have v cutter to cut the end in there for you and then also this is already cut at the end so the only reason why you need to cut it at the end here is when you smoke it it will go down so if you don't want it all at once get the cutter and you don't have to have all your cuban cigar this is a scar to be enjoyed okay so look at the top there okay enjoy the size around there as well and the tobacco in the top of the cigar here as well okay so give it a smell nice smell okay it's very it's very outdoorsy, sort of wooden notes to it, and uh, very much a sort of a countryside person, who, which I suspect that you are there as well. So perhaps you'd like to test this cigar out for yourself, and uh, let me know what you think there. Yeah. That's right. Well, I don't know, um, you know what kind of cigar store we are here, but... Uh, something I'd like to do for very special customers such as yourself I'd like to offer to spark you up there for you to try that one yeah so if you find the, the fee cutter there okay that's right if you just pick it up and then take it on the end of your cigar there that's right you know what to do just go through the moments movement on the top there make the little cut in there perfect excellent that's that's great it's my pleasure that's the kind of cigar store we are here so and when it comes to lighting your cigar i do have some perfect igniters here which will give you a good smoke okay so we have my one here okay and i do offer that one here as well I have another one here okay this is more suited for the big cubans like what you've got mini fire extinguisher just in case things go wrong okay excellent excellent right so how about i just show you here so i have this particular lighter this is really good for the big cuban cigars you could feel the heat on that one instantly okay we'll just place that one there then we have a flick up lighter here as well this one is a very interesting and unique lighter Also a popular one. Then we have my lighter here. This is a very traditional one. Flick up and you know the draw. That's what you want for uh, 
very traditional cigar, which I feel like you're into then. And of course, all of these you refill as well. And then we have another cigar lighter here, which it is. perfect for cigars and uh, it just slips in your pocket ever so nicely okay so can i light you up there excellent would you be interested in any of those lighters the traditional one excellent yes i can uh, get you one of those of course for a person such yourself who probably is a you know you know yourself as a, a gentleman a lady you know whatever someone who is important as a status in a society here you know that having the right cigar is of the utmost importance for your own peace of mind and for you to relax and having a cigar like that which is so quick and easy that you can take it anywhere is very appealing to individuals such as yourself it's an absolute pleasure to be able to let you test a cigar i wouldn't think anything less of it of course they are they do come with at an expense but i like to make sure that all of my customers know that they can have a cigar and try it and know that they're going to get the right one that's the kind of cigar shop that we are here How are you finding that? I'm so glad to hear it. indeed. When you're ready to put it out, or you want a sip of your port or something, feel free. And you just on the table there and it'll go out instantly. Okay. If you're having trouble with that because it is a little bit thicker, give it a cut there. That will sort it out there for you as well. Great. That's the beauty of cigars that you can just smoke at your leisure. So, I think it's time to select perhaps a different one here for you, something which you might feel very well drawn to. Now, the tobacco on this is a slightly different blend, okay? The taste has a quite a bit more of a strength to it, uh, but this is one that you savor a little bit, but then have a small puff, and then, of course, exhale the puff there as well, and it just creates a real nice atmosphere. So, think yourself, log fire. Feet up, raining outside, you've got your whiskey and everything that you need to for you to relax. Okay, that's that's what I've got here. So this is a very special box where I keep all of my oldest cigars and the best ones. And when I see a customer such as yourself, that's the time to bring out the dusty box. Yeah. As you could see, yeah, not many people use it and dust has accumulated on it. Ah.
a cigar, cigar, which I think you're going to really like. This has been saved for I don't know how many years since this cigar store has opened. I'm surprised I haven't seen you here for so many years. I mean, we've been here. We've just been waiting for customers such as yourself to come in and find us and enjoy the experience here at the cigar store. same sort of philosophy that it's a bit shorter, a bit smaller, for benefits of just taking it wherever you need to, and enjoying it wherever you need to, okay, so just pulled this cigar out, right, so similar in size as the first one which I got you, this is a very highly sought after Cuban cigar, and this one is a slightly different tone to it. You could tell by the color, it's already has a bit of a darker brown to it. It's a bit more regal with a, with a strip around it. And you know that because of that, you're going to probably have an enhanced flavor, enhanced taste as well. Tobacco is a bit more compressed in this one. So you will feel that extra strength when you smoke it. Okay, so have a little smell. Okay, take it away. Little smell. And take it away. Little smell. And take it away. Feel it on the top there. Thank you. And then feel the quality whilst it's in your hand there is second to none. You're really gonna like this cigar. Okay, so I'd like you to have a feel of it. Let me know what you think. If it's a good smell, if this is a cigar that you think you would be interested in, and by all means do let me know there. I'll just give that to you there. Excellent. Perfect. And that's why I just bring it to your face there. Nice smell. Let me know what how it speaks to you. Is it choosing you? Have either of those two cigars spoken to you yet? They're certainly enjoyable, but you need to make sure you have that that connection with the with the cigar. Okay. You can't force it, it's just there, it just happens. Yeah. Once again, would you like to get the cut in there and cut the V-shape in the end? Of course I'd like you to try it. Indeed, they are expensive, but of course I do have those in stock for you to purchase. Yeah, this is a special box for special customers such as yourself. Yeah, we have to make sure folk such as ourselves look after one another, you see. Indeed. Okay, so... Would I be able to just let you have a little smoke there? Excellent, perfect. I'm so pleased to hear that. We have another little smoke together. Okay, so if you'd like to bring yours forward a little bit. Okay, let me just... sensation to it in some strange way, just a little bit of an edge to it. There we go. Well, I see that it it's looking quite comfortable in your hands there. And I feel like you're you're looking like you're very much enjoying it. so pleased seeing you relax there. This is one of the perks of the job. 
of owning a cigar store is that I get to have people such as yourself come into the store who really appreciate the delicacy of what we're doing here and can appreciate its relaxing nature. There are some, of course, riffraff we know in this local area which uh, don't really know anything about cigars and, or anything to be uh, pretty blunt and they just come in here. What we'd like to call them is is new money, you know, they're not traditional, they're just, uh, they just don't really have a clue. Yeah, so we'd like to uphold the traditions and make sure that uh, you can always find a place here to, you know, vent out and relax. It's not just about purchasing the cigars, it's about coming in, having a nice talk and a smoke and chat together and relax. Well, perhaps you'd like to put that one out there. Yeah, that's it, get the cutter on the end. Excellent. Don't need the fire extinguisher, do you? Excellent, excellent. Well, I've got a very special Cuban cigar here for you. I've been saving this one. And what I do tend to do when I am selecting the Cuban cigars now, customers sometimes browse at their leisure, though if you leave it, which you have done in my very capable hands, I'm able to select the perfect Cuban cigar for you. And it's just one of those things that the cigar speaks to me and then I'm a conduit who acts in between you, the smoker, and the cigar. I think this is going to be the right one for you. Now, this box is going to hold that perfect cigar for you. Okay, it's a little bit more different than the previous ones if we if we take that one again I didn't measure the length there for you if you'd like to give it to me I know you smoked a little bit and chopped the end but circumference wise you were looking at the same seven there yeah and in length wise it goes at the same there as well this one's slightly over four inches there coming in at 11 centimeters there also so that is a, there you go, you can take it back. Do enjoy your leisure. But this particular cigar is something more of a very formal occasion. Perhaps you've got something which you've got friends of a very formal do. You've got something which you want to show people that, uh, well, a kind of a chill, relaxed, to show that you're a very cultured individual, then this is a cigar, this is a cigar which I think is going to be very well suited for you. Now you could tell instantly that this is a very special cigar, okay? A Cuban cigar, you've got to have a connection with it, and I could already see that it's piqued to your interest there as well. Okay, so allow me to do the measurements here for you, just so you know. It's always good to measure these here. So it's the same thickness there. It tends to be a little bit of a similar form here, so seven centimeters as we go around length of this particular cigar is coming in about 15 centimeters there so that's six inches there so it really is a perfect size Cuban cigar so being a little bit bigger a little bit longer means that it lasts even longer it means you need to find a little bit more time uh, to enjoy your smoke and you know perhaps you're doing very important things like sitting by your fire and listening to the thunderstorm outside or perhaps you're sitting there thinking about all of the vintage old cars that you have in your in the coach houses you know in your garages yeah, you want a Cuban cigar which uh, helps you think about these things, which enhances the thought process. And this is a cigar which clearly has the status of something which is going to make you feel good. Okay, so on the top there, the tobacco is a really fine tobacco. 
on the top yeah and then it's all perfectly wrapped okay it's not as thick as the other one as in compact on the top so it would smoke a little bit quicker but it has a very reputable brand there and of course on the top which is even easier to make a fee cut on there for you to smoke and enjoy so this is a very special cigar the age of it is a little bit older i think one of the oldest which we have here in our cigar store and it's going to be something which is like a fine wine you know it just with every taste you appreciate it even more okay so how would how about you would like to taste it there okay excellent now feel it what does it feel like in your hand yeah well, I could see, yeah. <laughs> that certainly looks like it's very well suited for you. Indeed, something that looks very, very special there. Okay. special cigar and it looks so good on you there as well it, it seems to be the perfect match it really does honestly I could I can tell these things straight away if you've been in the cigar business as long as I have you know that there's a particular cigar for everybody I think that one is certainly your one well hopefully it goes nicely to your port now go get the V cut there excellent give it a job on the end there I'd like you to try it it would be my pleasure. Indeed. That's right up on the top there. And there we go. all of our tobacco is chocolate tobacco and it just goes down so nicely it just really does fill up the mouth the mouth with so much joy yeah that's right yeah it's just it just made you look so relaxed there and you can only find that sort of relaxation here in the cigar store you really can when you're just surrounded by you know all these traditional items here and you have someone of like-minded nature here to discuss and to to be present there whilst you enjoy it. It, it, it you can't you can't describe it. it it truly is a thing that only pardon the expression that upper class individuals such as yourself and i uh, can truly enjoy indeed well how is that for you well, the attire that you're wearing right now, your whole look, your whole persona, it changes when you touch that cigar. It looks so good new. You really like it. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that. I really am. I thought that was going to be the one. I was just saving it and making sure with the other two there as well. You'd love to pay me for that? No, 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 no. I wouldn't have it. Not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. No, really. You can have those ones as a gift for trying them. That's what I'd like to do here at the cigar store. You know, that's um, one of the perks. Let's just say that uh, Lord Farquaad has a great interest in this place and he really is a, a true patron of my business here and uh, he likes to give generously so i'm able to also give generously uh, to you for which i hope you do enjoy those cigars there would you be interested in any to purchase on top of that i thought so 
Yeah, this last one, indeed, and uh, the first one there as well. Yeah, I mean, it's perfect to have a cigar to take around with you, which is just going to be a very casual cigar, indeed. Yeah, so our prices are here. Yeah, so that Cuban cigar there, so that just comes in just shy of a thousand pounds there. Okay, yeah, so it really is quite cheap. Yeah, for that uh, Cuban cigar. Mm. So that's a uh, thousand pounds, and then the small ones there is nine hundred pounds there as well per cigar, of course. And would you be interested in one of the lighters which I have here as well? You would like one of these? I yeah, I thought so. It's something very traditional about that, and the sort of paraffin inside there as well. It's very, very, very traditional. So. That's of course gold there also, so that's about two thousand five hundred pounds. That would be okay. I thought it would be. So how many of the Cubans would you like? Twenty. Twenty is a good number, and the small ones, five. Yeah, that's a perfect amount which you have there. I can get that arranged for you, boxed up. You're pretty close, aren't you? Oh, you're there. Oh, it's such a lovely area. Well, how about that? Uh, are you in a rush now? Well, you've got those three cigars there now, so you can take them with you. Will tomorrow be a suitable time? Would you be free at all? Excellent. Well, I'm I'm going horse riding tomorrow, so I, I'll take my horse, my backpack, and I'll, I'll bring them around there for you as well. You have somewhere I'll keep my horse? Excellent. Someone will attend to that. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Well, I, it'll be a pleasure to do that for you, bring them around personally for you to enjoy. Love to. Thank you so much. Well, I would personally like to thank you for coming to the cigar store. I know it's a little bit late, but hopefully you found some sort of relaxation here. Yeah. Well, I'll alliterate again. We, we don't condone smoking here at all. This is all fictional, of course. I'm sure you know that. Obviously. Yeah, this is what we do. We all just pretend. Perfect. Well, I'll be around tomorrow in my horse. Yeah, and drop it off personally. Well, I hope you're nice and relaxed. Hope you enjoyed it, the experience, and uh, you do look after yourself until I see you tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Cheers.